The Precambrian Era, presented by Cassidy Pong, Elizabeth Jang, and Alex Steiner, Science Period 5. The Precambrian Era started approximately 4.5 billion years ago, starting with the formation of Earth. Back then, the Earth was just a flaming ball of gas. Its climate was about 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, it lasted over 85% of Earth's history. The Precambrian Era was separated into three sections, the Hayden, Archean, and the Protozoic Eon. During the Hayden Eon, the Earth was at the beginning of its formation. There were oceans of liquid rock, boiling sulfur, and many impact craters, and several volcanoes. The air was hot, thick, steamy, and contained a lot of dust. During the Archean Eon, the Earth began to cool down, long chains of small islands began to form, and the water ba vapor began to cool down and condense to form the global ocean. As years passed, the process of photosynthesis developed during the Protozoic Eon. The pioneers for this new process were algae. An atmosphere soon formed protecting the Earth from meteorites. Soon the first glaciers formed. In the late Precambrian era, the first multicellular organisms appeared in the fossil records were most likely represented as soft by cnidarians, worms, and arthropod relatives. Cnidarians are the phylum that include the organisms made up of jelly cytoplasmic material. Species from this classification include jellyfish, anemones, corals, and sea cucumbers. A worm is a long, flexible invertebrate that can be flat or round. Arthropods are organisms with an external skeleton, or exoskeleton, found in the continents of Gondwana land. The ancient plant, Glossopteris, provided strong evidence that the continents were once joined together as a supercontinent, Pangaea. Glossopteris is an ancient ancestor of our modern day fern. The earliest living organisms were microscopic bacteria, which showed up in the fossil records as early as 3.4 billion years ago. Algae are single-celled, plant-like organisms which were the first to carry out the process of photosynthesis used to make up the Earth's atmosphere. Cyanobacteria are the first algae to carry out the process of photosynthesis. They still exist today and have changed a little bit from when they first developed. The most common type of plant fossil is referred to as an impression. An impression occurs when a plant is buried in sediment and all the water is expelled from the plant tissues. One type of plant that has been fossilized during the Precambrian era is Glossopteris. Many scientists think this is an early form of fern. The fact that it has been found on all the continents that used to be part of Gondwana land strongly supports the theory that all of the continents were once joined. Stromatolites are also a common form of fossil. They are layers of cyanobacteria that have been buried under layers of sediment. After being buried, water is expelled from them. This is a fossil of an early sea anemone. The people who found it also drew a sketch of what it may have looked like. The fossil record during the Precambrian time was very poor, mainly because the rocks that could have held fossils had been metamorphosed and eroded. Most fossils are imprints of the organisms, rather than of the organisms themselves. The Precambrian was the time that marked new beginnings for our planet. The first water, land, and organisms appeared. Although we do not have any fossils from this time period, Precambrian is going to be renowned as one of the most important eras. Even the earliest one-celled organisms that first appeared in the Precambrian have evolved into what we are today, humans.